So Wat Kadam plies the Kok River in northern Thailand for a living. But the season is turning out to be a tough year for fishermen like him. เราจับได้เยอะแต่ว่าตะกอนเนี่ยเราเอาไปส่งให้เขาอะไรเนี่ยมันจะขายดีแต่ว่าเราปนไปผลกระทบกับคนที่ว่าแบบว่าอย่าง
and by that point, who really knows the the, the, the depth and uh, uh, of the environmental damage it's done? So what says the arsenic scare has driven the price of this catch down to nearly half of what it was. Um, it's the latest in a, in a number of blows for them. For years, they managed to stave off sort of blasting off rocks, which was to, to enable deep sea ships to go through there or deeper sea, deeper ports to be built. That was fought off a few years ago, and now they're facing extreme pollution of their, of their water resource. It's to a point where people won't drink the water. Obviously, they live alongside it. This is this is this is about a million people in Chiang Rai, but it obviously it flicks all the way down. They can't eat from the water. The fishers industry has collapsed. Tourism is a very beautiful part, um, especially for eco tourism up there of, of Thailand. Yeah, tourists will be reluctant to come back. It's low season now, but I doubt tourists would like to be jumping into into orange waters if this if this problem persists uh, in the next few months. So really, it's, a, it's an economic problem. It's a it's a it's a terrifying health issue. They have no idea of the consequences of this level of arsenic poisoning or when they will reveal themselves. Maybe several years from now. It's a food supply chain issue for parts of northern Thailand and elsewhere where that where that stuff is exported to. Uh, and yeah, uh, what the what the NGO says essentially is an environmental calamity, and it's something they haven't seen before, certainly on on Thai terms. Mm -hmm. And it's happened underneath their eyes and there seems to be nothing they can do about it.